Hi guys, it's Steph. Don't know where Steve is, but he's on his way. Uh, we are doing an unboxing of all the awesome stuff you guys have sent us. And I, we just went to the PO box today. It was packed. So there he is. Okay, good. Uh, I don't have any chat going on. Okay. Hello, Monica, Shelly, Debbie. See if you can, you can pull it up. Julie. Yeah, but I all can't right. do it while well. we're doing that. All right, so, guys. You guys know the routine. <laughs> Let's get into it right away. We're going to open up some, uh, some fun some stuff. Some packages of stuff that you guys have sent. Hey. And might as well start with this. Okay. Oh, man, I need a slicer. I can do it with my fingers. Okay. What's this? Whoa! What are the oh, odds? Oh, wait. I didn't even get to see. I haven't shown it to anybody yet. Anyways, we're running a little late because we were hanging out with uh, grandkids. Yeah. With swimming lessons and then had a little adventure after that. We'll share that later. <laughs> Diving with purpose. How's it going? Which channel are we on? We are on uh, Steve and Steph. Okay, so we'll, we the adventure a... will be on this channel, I'm sure. Yes. Because it's more vloggy. Look what we have here. What is that? Yum! Kawaii coffee. I don't know who sent this. Oh wait, there's a note. Kawaii. I love this coffee. Enjoy from Linda. Linda Stark from Maui. What are the odds? Did she see, when did that video come out? Was it yesterday of the K-Cup machine? Yes. How did she get this? I don't know, but we will be, to us in we're time. be testing some regular K cups, oh. not the flavor. That that flavored stuff was disgusting it's dark and roast. it almost killed us. Mmm. I love it. This is Pat good Walling coffee. Brings Kona. I've never had this one in a K cup form, but I've had this Hi, one. Vicky Johnson. Um Lisa. in the bag. Bocarrado. Bocarrado. Thank you, Linda. Thank you so much. That yeah. is awesome. And Linda, Linda's you guys, she's out there roughing it. If I hadn't in Kauai, just made Hawaii, this. Wherever she is in Hawaii, Brazil. Mm. She's out there struggling to just get through every day over there. <laughs> struggling to survive in paradise. Exactly. Oh. Okay. That is this so awesome. This package here. Thank you. I can't wait. A couple of the packages wait. had a little, uh, like, look. But it's still sealed. Yeah. I don't want to show the. Who's uh, this one this from? This one is from. Oh, this is from oh. Linda, too. Because I can tell the, um. Oh, that's why this is like, if it came from Hawaii. No, she, it's from Amazon. Oh. But she's in Hawaii, or maybe back now, but she I guess was it, in Hawaii. I guess it doesn't make sense. Let's see. Okay, get ready. Oh, thanks, Jessica. I love watching you guys. EYL. Wow. EYL to you, Lynn. Wahowski. Yeah, I just called you Linda. Wow. Jessica. Wahowski. Hope Thank that's you. how I say your name. Hi, that's Jessica. Sweet. This is packaged like that. What? Steph is going to see if there's a note. Okay. Um, I don't want it to. Um, to okay, you can hold change on to my life. memory by okay. looking at it because I don't want to change cheat. your memory. Oh, here, this one might say. By the way, reset killer. A gift for you from Linda Stark from Maui. She oh, always man. says. So it's Kauai? Yeah. Maui? Oh, Linda's so sweet. You better open this one. Okay. I feel like you need to open that one. I feel like I do. But too. there's another thing in here. How cute! That is cute, <laughs> but you're you're supporting a, a bad habit. That it oh princess coffee. Princess coffee, and it's a mermaid, Linda. but it's Ariel. That is how cute. adorable, Linda. This is so cute. That is cute. Okay, so tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be making this in this with the new K cup dumpster K cup machine we just found, and it's working great. In fact, this is from dumpster K cup machine. So we I had to a, buy K-Cups. When we visited <laughs> Steph's parents recently, we brought a ton of K-Cups over there and it was all flavored ones. Yeah. And we did a taste test. And seriously, after that taste test, all of us were, were like dreading every moment. Yes. It, was, it, was, it made us feel so disgusting. It was brutal. But actually what happened was I brought two bags. I got all the flavored K-Cups in one bag and we were gonna do a taste test of all the non-flavored K-Cups, because that's what we all like the most, are the non-flavored. And we were so grossed out by coffee at the end of that that we didn't do the other flavors. So yeah. I have a bag of the other flavors, non-flavored, uh, for us to do. Non-flavored. Non-flavored. Yeah. Would you do them with me? We have to discover what the best coffee is. You know what's weird is. is you want me to do that and then 
you just got that that cup, and then there's another one in here. It's oh. quite lovely. Aloha. Aloha. That's nice. Oh, the scent of the styrofoam. I know that was terrible. Purple pickles. That was hey, bad. That's ASMR. As as Amser. There's a way to remember that word, but no. that's ASMR to some people. He loves to say, Asthma. you love my shirt? It's from Costco. <laughs> it's a lucky brand. It's a Costco and it's pretty old. It even has stains on it. I See? love Hawaii. Thank you, Linda. Linda, that is so cool. Hawaii it's beautiful. Makes you, Hawaii makes you feel good. <sighs> okay, so yeah, I'll do one. I'll do like small samples of regular, no flavor. Okay, not small samples. I'm we, talking, there's, no we, there's like 30 of them. I'm drinking some of my homemade, this is a homemade shot that I made myself. Oh good, did you make that can? Can we mm. see the rest of the can? Mm. Could we see it? Oh, you guys are getting, you're gonna have a good experience right now. Can we right see now. your quality workmanship on that can? This is, I made the, this can. Let me see it. <laughs> no. Why does it have a green top? Listen, I don't uh -huh. like to waste stuff. Oh, okay. So, what are you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> These were also from a pallet. I didn't get those, by the way. I did not buy them. They were those. on a pallet. They were on a pallet. For the record. Yeah. Okay, so here, I'm gonna cut it and oh, you... Anna wants a hair removal video. Okay, I've been growing my armpits out for it, and Amanda said her armpits were really long too, last time I talked to her, and I asked her what today. What are you guys doing? No, I asked her, I said, hey, how long are your pits today? And I said, you wanna go to her house afterwards and we'll wax your pits? Cause she said she wanted to try waxing too, but she doesn't wanna get a machine if she's not gonna like it. Okay, so listen. I almost got her to come over here and we were, you were gonna take the kids out and Amanda and I were gonna wax Amanda's pits. Oh. And uh, she said a, she shaved him this morning. Here's a question. <laughs> I wouldn't have done the sugar morning, one, though. I'd wait for you. Yeah, whoever Jenny is that sent the sugar thing, that's it's not nice. Oh, it's nice. It's not nice to say, hey, I want Steve to do that. But how many of you give a thumbs up in there or say yes or no in the last year have said, hey, have you shaved your pits? Like you Shaved, guys have, do you mean... What did you say to, about, with Amanda? Oh, I asked her how long her armpit hair was. Yeah, how many of you have actually asked somebody that in the last year? Little, not the, the last day, like she just did that today. How long are your armpit hair? Well, now that I've been waxing my armpits, who, who talks it's a about constant that thought in my mind. Is Are they long Who's enough yet? From? Can I wax them? Well, this might not say who it's from yet, huh? Okay, you can see my name. State and state. And state, okay. This see, they from... put on the outside of the envelope, you can say my name and state. Oh, it's Dwight. Otherwise, we don't. We it's don't do Dwight that. from Colorado. Oh, Dwight, Hi, Dwight. We're friends on Facebook. I don't know if you're watching right now. He's Dwight, been but... guessing what our TV show is going to be about. Oh. We should mention that, by the way. It's not about dumpster diving. For all the people who've been speculating, it's not about dumpster diving. Okay, so Dwight. Oh, he's a collage artist. Dwight wow. is a collage artist. Uh, hello from Loveland, Colorado. I'll keep. Hearing you, staff, Lovely. that you like candles. Well, here are a few small things to help you out. Love the channels on YouTube. These Valentines are special because the town is known as the Sweetheart Town. Oh, the Sweetheart Ooh, Town. Loveland. Oh, Loveland. Is that where it is? Loveland, yeah. You go yeah. there and you experience love. I was thinking the name sounds familiar. Let me know if anybody knows. Is Loveland a place where there's some conspiracy theories going on? Aren't they everywhere? Yes, but is it one that, that is maybe the military's involved? It just, well, it says, out it of the rings, four Lovelands across the country, we are known for oh, our Patricia, Valentines. Pat, Did you hear that? For their Valentines? Known for their Valentines. What's going on out there in Loveland? How Why is there so much Valentinage going on? The people there must just be so happy. The two of you take care. P.S. Sorry for being late. Oh. Projecto do artesano. No Artesanto. Projecto artesanto. I'm sorry if Look, I said that wrong. Love from Loveland, Love Colorado. From That's interesting. I like hearing, like, you take for granted the name of places, you know, towns and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then you hear a little bit about the history. It's kind of cool. Dwight, like, I love like how you do crack. your boxes. He folds them, like, nice. he flips the side, and then tapes them. That's interesting. I've never That's, seen that before. He's not letting that thing. He did it here, too. Wow. Okay. Stephanie Harden's four-year-old says hi. Hey. Hi. What's his name? Or her? Oh, he. Okay. And he loves oh, you. Oh, we love you too, buddy. Scotland. Okay. Find, find our voice. F Here's our voice. some things for to help me with my candles. Oh, to make little baby candles. Oh, how 
how cute. I would love to make little baby candles. I will totally make little baby candles out of these. That will be neat. They're like little marmalade jars. Thank you, Dwight. From Scotland. Those will Scotland. be so cute. Like on the back of the toilet, just a little teeny little jar of, of candle. Thank you. Wisconsin. That's so cute. I love these lids too. Adorable. Thank you, Dwight. That's so sweet. Heath, Heath Cincy. Yeah. Hello, first time from Cincinnati, WKRP. Oh. Thanks for joining us for your first time. Yes. If, it, if it's anybody's first time on a live, we appreciate you popping in here. Yeah, and a lot of you guys I know don't know how to comment on the lives. If you're here with us right now, I know a lot of people oh, see yeah, this, this later. Is, this is good, good stuff. stuff yeah. If you do know how, the thing is, if you're on your phone this way or this way, mm. you need to turn it this way in the comments where the comments are way at the bottom, that's where the chat is too. So you gotta go all the way down to the bottom and look for that. That'll help you. Um, if you are able to make a comment, that means you are able to chat when we're live. So if you're trying to chat right now, that probably means we're not live right now. Right now you guys were live, but uh, <laughs> I did not confusing. explain it. It's confusing. We get so many messages Fancy where people are answering things and they think it's live and it's not. And they're like, we yeah. finally caught you live and it's like two days later. If you're, wa if you're watching this and it's, it's not today, you'll yeah. know because we will type back the comment to you and say, you know, thanks for watching. Okay, but, um, if it's not 2.24 Pacific time right now, uh, then that's not live. But you guys are live right now. Yeah. Chris from Scotland. <laughs> Anybody that sees this later is gonna be live right now, they're gonna think Chris so. Evans from Who's Scotland. Who's this from? This is from Elaine from I Boise. Boise? No, Boise. Boise. It's Boise. Boise. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty town. <gasps> what? What are the odds of see. that? She what sent me Woodwicks. What? For the candle making. Is we this just... from Dwight too? No. Steph Elaine. is planning to make candles and all of a sudden that happens. Oh. Oh, that is so sweet, Giselle's, Elaine. Giselle's in Windsor, Windsor, Ontario. These are my favorite and I, I have a ton of candles to start making. I'll do a candle video. They're not beautiful candles, but they are free dumpster candles and my favorite thing are the wood wicks. These things, when they light, they crackle. They crackle. Diane's on the, the Sunshine Coast in Australia. They are so neat. They crackle like a flame in a fireplace. It just spits and crackles and it just sounds like campfire. Patty, They're great. Patty Campbell's in, hello, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm excited. I'm totally going to make some candles. I stabbed in Nick in South Carolina. Yay. When I was 19 okay. years old. Elaine says, Woodwick candles are the best. Says God, they are. Pickles. Steph, I so admired what you are doing with the diving ahead. candles. Hope you can uh, use these. If only I was 30 years younger. Oh, Elaine. If only you were, then, you know, you could still make some candles. It's still really fun. Janice Sanders, thank you very much. Is yes. that a doggy? What kind of dog is that? What? I can't really see the dog. Janice, um, it's, I know it's a, a dog. He's got a long body, like a hot like Is he a, a Doberman? Dog. Is he a big dog? He looked like he had a long, long tubular body. Hi, Tracy. Thank Tracy you, Elaine. Tracy Maston, thanks for joining us. Elaine's from Boise. Karen Elaine, Edwards. you'll know what this means. I'm from Nampa. If Bassin, you'll know. Bassin Stick. Basin Stoke. Basin Stoke, England. England. Yes. Carol. All right. Okay, Come on, let's people. Go. Come on. So, Elaine, I was born in uh, on there, Caldwell, oh, but that's yeah. only because the doctor's office was in Caldwell. And I was born at the Kinder Clinic in Caldwell, Idaho, and then I grew up sort of up until second grade in Nampa. Like how big do you think Nampa is? It's tiny It's still. bigger now, like it's grown a lot, but when I lived there it was pretty small. But here's, a, here's something weird, but this probably happens to you guys too. So we have friends that we've known for forever. They went to, was it a wedding or whatever they oh, went to? Oh, it's Monique, in, she's in going. She's going to a wedding in Nampa. In Nampa. <laughs> it's like, how does of that? Of all places. And we just had a, one of our subscribers who won. Yes, that lives in Nampa. From Nampa. It's so weird. It was really weird. It's like, oh. Zip code, oh, oh, oh. 83651. Uh, the dumpster dive king is here. Who sent this? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> okay, here. Step over. Okay, there's who a, sent there's this? a note. Is there a name? Okay, Cynthia. Hey, Steven Steph, my name is Cynthia, and I designed a bag for you to use while you dumpster dive. What? I hope you find stuff to put in the bag. I made a Steve a keychain. I hope he likes it. And I hope you like your bag too, so you can read this when you open up the fan mail. Thank you. The king is here. Let's see. Let me king. see it. I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unveil it for you. <sighs> Get ready. Spill the beans. Bam. Dumpster diving queen <laughs> is here. So when 
it's See, me. You could be loading stuff in at the dumpster, and if somebody comes up and goes, what are you doing? Say, you don't worry about what I'm doing. <laughs> This is what you, I'm doing. You don't ask me what I'm How doing. How are those on there? Are they, those are so cool. This is bedazzled. How oh, these I, are thick. I don't know if I can use this like in the thick. dumpster. It's too cute. It'll get filthy, right? I'm going to spill coffee but all over it. you know it. what you could do? It's so cute. I want to keep it special. You could take this with you on that trip to Nampa. I'm not going to Nampa. I know, but... Oh. I'm tying Nampa. That's the theme today is Nampa. Nampa. This is so cute. That is cute. very nice. And those, oh my gosh. like the letters and stuff, they're, I love it. they're thick. It's very nice. Yeah, it's got bling. But this. Most people wouldn't make the word dumpster with bling. Yeah. <laughs> so cute, I She's love it. She's being very nice to me. I love it. The dumpster king? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a lookout. I'm You're not, also a dumpster I'm like, king. I'm like, the, I'm like a, one of the, I'm not even a knight. Well, I'm let me tell you this. <laughs> but I'll take this. Thank Steve you just very much. found some stuff all on his own today. I didn't get out of the car because I was busy trying to hurry I went up potty play. on my own, too. I did. <laughs> I was trying to play my Pokemon, and he hopped out and checked the dumpster. And normally, I hop out and I, I double-check the dumpster because I want to make sure he's they getting everything. Yeah, but those of you guys that don't, I am super anal, and it's like I've got fear of missing out on the dumpster. And I've got to go look myself because what if he's not seeing it correctly or isn't looking good enough? And he came back and said there was stuff in there, and you'll see what it is. Well, There's I didn't do it. I came back and I said... You got to get out. Yeah, that's you got to see what's in there. You got to get out. Get <laughs> so, out. So, anyway, now. that's right. why. Anyways. I've got to do it. I everybody's having to. a good day today. Yeah. We had a really good morning. And, yes, And I hope we that did. everybody else did. Okay, this one, we won't, we don't see a name yet, but it's from I know, Amazon. this is from Anna. Oh, you do? Yes, because um, she said she was sending this. Let's see. Okay. Is there a note? Okay, guys. Anna Antunes. Hey Anna, have you, are you in here right now? So I know I saw it earlier, but I don't know, I want to make sure. FOMO is real. That's See, right, bike contest. any of you guys that are dumpster divers, you know the FOMO, the fear of missing out. What if you, what if he didn't look good enough in a bag and I just saw something or whatever? I just can't What if I didn't it. say, hey, you got to get out? That's right. Alexis because he's like, eh. Sparagowski. Hey, the fries and shakes, that was no joke. Like that was like so brutal. We're not used to, we don't eat a lot of fast food. And we felt so bad. Like, get, even when we got home, we were just, like, half dead. And yeah. it was, it's the Oreos did it. No, here's the thing, though. Those that, fried Those Oreos. were filmed the same day. Yeah, it was just such a are... long video that Steve chopped it and did fries well, when you see and he did milk. Sorry. On the start of the second video, it says part two. I mean, but there were, it yeah. was just too much. It would have been, like, an hour and a half long video. A couple people thought, though, that we ate Oreos, went back went and back. ate them again. Mm -mm. We will try that thing again. But it would have to be solo. But that Oreo at Sonic is out of this world. Yeah. But if we would have just shared one, I think we might have We did okay. share one. No, we ate all three of them. Oh, We each one had circle. one, and then we had a half. So that thing was Well, brutal. okay, here's another thing, though. Hola, Maria. If we hadn't had a billion calories of grease I know. that day and milk shake that day already at that point. We, I, we, Maybe it wouldn't we, have pushed us over the top, but we'd already had a billion fries and a mini milkshakes by then. It was hard, <laughs> but we learned like that Taco Bell. And now we're worried because a lot of comments are coming in saying Taco Bell, that was like a temporary thing. Their fries. Those were good. I hope it's, I hope it's permanent here because they are delicious. <sighs> but anyways, so let's carry on people. Okay. So Anna, what do we have here? School brush jumbo Ooh. pack. Bike contest, you could put Oreo. Up. Did she, bike contest I think said she puts, or he puts Oreos in uh, a blender. Ooh. Those Oreos, you bit into that thing and it had a crispy crunch and the Oreo was melted and the sugar went straight to your Abdullah Blangata. Wow. Nice. Those SNS. Are, those are nice brushes. SNS Worldwide, honey. That's us, what? Steve and Steph. SNS. What? Made in China. These are so great. Look at these. These are going to be that great. Cool. Thank you, Anna. Check out this one. Let's look at this one. Anna is so sweet. Like, oh, it, you need some chunky ones? Oh, no, not chunky. Colossal. <laughs> Colossal, Colossal brushes. Colossal brushes. Those are Man. great. 30 piece creativity street. Anna catches wind that, oh, we've never had paints before, Katie said in that one video. And bam, yep. she sends us like, all this paint stuff. Yep. Sweet. Thank you, Anna. Purple pickles. Oh, thank you, purple pickles. Hugs to you too. Here. Oh, that, that kitty. Yeah. Kitty. Right is it a kitty? 
I think it was a kitty. I gotta see. Let's see, Janice Sanders. Oh, she sent, okay, the dog on Janice, it looks like a hot dog, right? A long black hot know. dog. I don't know, I think it's deceptive because of the angle, so we don't know, it could be a big dog. It's a doggy, honey. Purple Pickle sent a doggy, or is a fox. A, it's a fox or it's a, a cat. Fox. What is that it's thing? It's cute, whatever it is, it's cute, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, Marilyn. Um, here, put these in the thing, Hi, we gotta put these in Katie's pile. Um, okay, in well, that it's box gonna be it here, in. so we know it'll. I know, but I want her to know that Anna sent those. Oh. This was Let's put this with this. Okay, cool. so we got that. Thank you, Anna. I'm trying to stay so organized sweet. here. Oh, dash hand. I don't know how to say it. Dotson? It's a Dotson. It's a Dotson, but why is it called Dotson when it's a dash hand? Well, the dog, Dotson. most breeds were created by men, you know, like humans. Not by men. men? I didn't, by human beings. <laughs> Before there was women, there was men. I'm joking, it's a joke. What about God? <laughs> Listen, mm -hmm. dogs, you know how they bred dogs for purposes? Yeah. And then there was a small, Austrian town called Dotson. And that's where- Austrian, the, not German? No, it's Austrian. And so that dog was bred- Hund in German purpose. is dog. They trained that dog, like you could see the shape of it and everything. It made, they needed it to function properly. To like, get in a long holes? They were like, sometimes you would, hey, I can't reach something. Cause yeah. over there they had a lot of old buildings, right? Uh-huh. And sometimes there'd be a hole and people would- Oh, back them. when they were- Breeding castles, the castles original dogs. Oh, okay, yeah. And you go, you couldn't get in there. Your Dotson. You'd have the go Dotson go first. Yes, and I think Dotson means to retrieve. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think, anyway. Oh, All, Steve. Like dogs can do a lot of amazing stuff. Uh, well, good thing man made them. A friend of ours got a Dotson, <laughs> and he's like he grew up with them, so he loved these dogs. But he put it in the garage, and they just you know they left it alone too long, and it ate all. The like baseboard and everything like that. Who sent these? I felt bad for a dog. There's a reason it was. Yeah, doing he that. ripped up all the baseboard. Because it was Lisa being left alone Dayton. too long. Dayton, I think. Hi, maintenance one. That's what your name is on there. Hi, maintenance one. Hello. She says for Katie's kids from Lisa. Nice. Thanks, Lisa. Look. These are some cool highlighters. Cool pens. Whoa, Liz, this zebra doing like yo? It's doing yoga. Oh, I've got to tell you guys. Maybe Fine I can Zen, you, put the clip. Zebra in a video, but Katie sent me a video um, of what she did with Purple Pickles. I can't remember now, oh shoot. Who else sent that money that day? She got $220 that oh, day. Oh yeah. She ended up making, I can't remember if it was 10. Um, her kids are doing podcasting. Like they saw some podcasting thing where it's about, um, I, I'd have they to read it them, to you, but it's really what cool. I Here's what I think it Okay. And I might be in, uh, not 100% right. But they, there is like a kit, like you build your own podcast thing. It's, it's something like a DIY also, but mm -hmm. you need all the equipment. And that's what they did. And she, she showed pictures of the kids like on a bench getting into that, which is really cool. I just got goosebumps. She's an English teacher, like literature, English. She's an English teacher. Yeah. And so her kids, oh, Amy and family, thank you. Number thank one you, fan. Amy and is that a, it's a pair. <laughs> um, she said, that the kids are, you know, like creative writing and making yeah. up things. You know, that's what she really wants to encourage and stuff. She loves writing and everything. But to just to do like. But, they're, so they're writing, they're thinking up who to, uh, they're, um, they're interviewing. Yes. As an item, interviewing another item or something like that. It was I, very I creative. Have to explain it. Yeah, it was a creative little assignment. It was had. so cute. Very What cool. she said. And it's definitely inspiring these kids to, they're not going on podcasting because of the age. They're not allowed to post them anywhere, but for themselves, just to do it, it's raising awareness for... Um, it would be like, like back, like I remember when I was in high school, and that's a long time ago, but we had, we had a channel, we had a TV channel just to, in the school, you know? Yeah. Oh, uh, think, is it Joy Morales? Joy, Hoas, Hoas? Hoas, Morales, I, if, like Hoas? In, if it's, I don't know if you're Show in Brazil, us? what part of South America, sometimes the J is a H. H, yeah. Ho it if it's be, Hoas, hello, thank you. Hoas? Thank you. But thank you, sorry or for saying your name wrong. Maybe it's Joas. But Maybe. anyways. Oh, they, Yos, it's Yos. 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 Oh, cool. Yos, Yos. I love Yos. Yos, oh, Yos Morales. Yo. Yeah, got Yos. it. And That's then we've awesome. got, we got Bonnie, Bonnie Gallagher from Scotland. Scotland. What shirt are you wearing today? Scotland. Nothing? Scotland. No, we went out and I just, I was gonna change and, and do a little Who shout out to some country, but 
Well, we were running late. You I know. I was yelling at him, you need to get in here. And he's like, just I said, push I'm start. looking for a shirt with a country on <laughs> he it. He was. And I've done laundry. I need to do some laundry. Oh, my okay. goodness. What is Who's this? this? Okay, Hold here's on. a note. Let me move this box. Okay, this is from Julie Palmer of Oxford, Pennsylvania. Hi, I saw this science kit, in quotes, science kit, and automatically thought of Steve. Enjoy your gift from Julie Palmer, Oxford, Pennsylvania, in beautiful Lancaster yes. County, Pennsylvania. Okay. Nice, disgusting science. What little boys why, don't want that? Why do feet stink? This is for an adult. Oh, it is? She said it was for me. I thought it was gonna be for you and the grandkids. Six activities. I'm pretty sure this is for me. <laughs> <laughs> Make fake snot. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's gonna fake be this fun. Fake this Oh, I think. Has mocos falsos. Mocos. Mocos. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank yeah. you, Julie. This is gonna be fun. Are you, this is gonna be really fun. Learn real science in a disgusting way. Like, look at that. Awesome. Yeah, this is gonna be This fun. is gonna be so fun. I think you're gonna have to wait, and you'll do this with Hudson when we go. The grossest. Watch him. Most revolting science kit out there. Grow your own friendly germs and fuzzy molds. Mix Ew. up a batch of coagulating fake blood. Yes. Even make a stinky intestine. What? This is the best one ever. This is going to be fun. Oh this is goodness. right up boys' alleys. They love disgusting girls, science. You can't eat. Look at this girl. I'm pretty much look at her. sure I'm the one that probably is way more comfortable with intestines and uh, blood and that kind of stuff. Am I not? Well, it depends on what you're doing. Like, you like your french fries to be like human flesh. <laughs> it's so, true, I yeah, know. that's a little A odd. lot of people understood what I meant, and they agreed. No, you said you like it to be like human flesh. Yeah. Think well, about that. Think, just think about it. Soft. Soft and <laughs> And warm. Right. I don't know. Oh, okay, what's here. this? You're going to have to. A double box? It's a double box. Who's this from? I don't know. Let me yet. see the label on it. This label has, it's it's just the fulfillment center. Steve and Steph, and it says Katie. No, I'm looking oh, at the address to. Oh, okay. Okay, Steve and Steph, Katie and kids. Aww. Oh, Who you. from, though? Katie and kids. Was there a paper in there? There might be in here. They okay. double boxed this, which is. I'm thinking it's a sealed case from the manufacturer. Look at this be? Katie's, Katie's kids, and Katie. Wow! Ooh. What are these? Ooh. Model magic. Model magic. Soft, Soft squishy, squishy modeling material. Modeling material. Basic modeling tips. Building with am armatures. Finishing amateurs? Armatures. Hmm. Armatures. Wait. Armchairs. <laughs> armatures. Yeah, like little. I don't know what maybe? those are. I don't either. Armatures. Finishing methods, lesson plan ideas. Let's find out These what an armature so cool. is. Somebody tell me what an armature is. I know the name. You know what? That's it's because Katie said, mentioned the art teacher. Okay, armature. Students delve deep into engineering detail when they design large constructions. Model magic lends itself well to... Terraniums. Terraniums and no, dioramas. It's not ecosystem. terraniums. Trioramas. Trioramas. Trioramas and dioramas. Oh, nice. A diorama and a triorama. And legs. Wired. Oh, okay. People are saying machine. Oh, oh, my cancel. bad, my bad. Okay. Okay. What did it say? With the wire to make arms and stuff. Oh, oh, Michelle Lathan. That's my game partner. Hey, Michelle. Michelle's my game Who partner. Who sent this? Does anybody know? Stretch? You're right. This is Somebody me. knows. But this thank is you. Be fun. Ooh. For check me that too. Out. Oh, it's from High Maintenance. Hey, High Maintenance. She's in here too. That is Yay. cool. The, thank hey, Rick you. Granum awesome. Register. He's Katie, in here. Katie's kids are going to love this. I mean, yeah. look at all these kids. Thank you. Turns that on. is so sweet. Where did this stuff go? Which one, where did we put her stuff? Um, this. Which section is it in? Where what? did we put? That's not it. No. What is wrong Where, with that? How did we lose it? Well, I don't know what it was. It was. Oh, the, the science. No. High maintenance. No, that's from Pennsylvania. Where'd it go? Is it in that box? No. This box. This box. There it is. Okay. Got it. Got it. High maintenance one. Put all these together so she knows. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Katie's so sweet. Love that. You guys are so cute. Thank you. Okay. That's so sweet. Aww. Woo. After this box, we got one, two, three, four, four other ones, but I think they'll be all the same. Wait, Mike Duvall. Is that Mike D that sent you the science mug? 
Oh, that science I bet mug it's is Mike D. my science mug. If you guys haven't seen it, when it gets hot, it change. You see the the planets. It's just mesmerized system. by it, it. Do you get mesmerized? By I do. Stuff? It's really when cool. you see it happening, it's it's mesmerizing. It is. It's really cool. I love it. By the way, Anna, cheers. Cheers, Anna. Ah, it's hot still. There's e steam coming from it. Mike D. I don't know if you can e see it. E y l. Oh yeah, I see the steam right now. This is a uh, Starbucks Sumatra Ooh. blend K cup Sumatra. that I had to buy because I couldn't delve into the big pile of K cup, and we didn't have any. This is oh, who sent this? Mike what did the D. label say? This is for Mike D. Mike D. E -Y -L. Or Mike, Mike Mike Duval. What is it, Duval? Mike Duval. But I up want here, to make he sure writes, we don't make sure it's the same Mike D. He writes Mike oh, D. Oh, Mike D. Mike D. All right, Mike D. Okay, the reason they. And sending this is that teachers, Katie at least, they get one box of tissues. For, for the, the whole, whole year. year. And she's got and 200 then, plus kids. Man, look at all this. Look at all this. Protractors, retractors. Wow, let's look at it. Let's pull out what's in there. All that good stuff. We got Sharpies or uh, highlighters. Erasers. Oops. Pencil Oops, things I that go that. in your pencil. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bias. Bias a lot. lot. Just showing what? I lost it. it. Just showing Mr. some support to a cool channel. Thank oh, you very thanks, much. Miss Buys a lot. That's a good name. These are awesome. Rulers, a sharpeners, buys. erasers. Do you go to our flea market, Mr. Buys a lot? Does he? How would you know I don't, that? I'm just oh, because <laughs> the people buy a lot. Might be buying a lot. Yes, sharpies. Hey, did um, you guys ever have pencil fights when you were not a kid? Not sharpies, highlighters. Like when oh. you go in school and you do a pencil fight with somebody else. Anybody? Anybody do that? Oh. I still have lead in my hand, like right here. It's gonna be hard to see now, but in the sixth, oh, sixth grade. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, we better hear. hear. No, tell your sixth grade story. So in the sixth grade, you know, we would do the pencil fights. Yeah. And you always get one pencil that you're like, oh, this this pencil's gonna be the. When champion. you say pencil fighting, is it where you're flicking each other's pencil, or is it where you you're hold, going like this? You like, hold. No. Oh, okay. That's chicken. You hold your pencil, and then I I go, Pow, and we pop each other's, and we try to break the pencil. Okay. And so I had a pencil that was just dominating. I don't know why. It was super. It was, it was super strong. Pure. And I steel used pencil. it. Pencil. And I used it. No, it was a regular pencil, but it's for just some extra reason, good there were tricks like you'd choke up on it, you know. And I don't know what that means. That means you you don't hold it at the very end. It's it's harder to break if you hold it closer. Oh. Little tricks like that. So I was we were all battling it out, and a girl in our class said she wanted to do it. So. I get ready to do my thing. I was holding my pencil. I was going to go first. And she went, bam! Drove the Karate pencil. Karate chopped it? No, hit the end of it. Drove it into my hand. I mean, like, into my hand. Yeah. To where we had to pull it out, and the lead was still in there. If you look closely, they won't be able to see it. I've seen it before. Yeah, but it that lead is still in there. I'm probably, I probably have lead poisoning. You probably do. That's, That's probably so what's wrong yeah. with the metal plate in your so, head. The Anyways, lead. that story, I don't know why I was telling that. In the metal plate. Because of the pencils. These pencils reminded me of that, and it was very painful. Honey, should we have a pencil fight? We could replenish. No, not with these. We, no. look at all these. I, after that, I vowed never to pencil fight a girl. Oh, okay. I wouldn't jam it into your hand. Look at all Man, this. this is cool. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, pins. She's going to love this stuff. She's going to have Way stuff to go, forever. Mike D. Extra life. Well, there's a note on this one. Hey, if your pen, like if you're using a pen and it and the Aww. ink's just not coming out, rub it on the bottom of your shoe. It'll reactivate it. Yeah. The rubber it's will true. reactivate it. Look, Look at this. A little something for the grandkids when they visit. He sent us something too for our little guys. They're gonna love this. Sidewalk chalk. Thank you. I'm gonna. I'll keep Is one. That... I'll ask Katie first if there's anything that they will do with sidewalk chalk. I'll keep one little stack. And here, sleep of them for our grandkids, and the rest we'll give to Katie because I know if they'll use it, they're gonna need it too. Thank you. That is, is so cute and sweet. Is L E N E Lene or Lene? Where is it? It was L E N E from Sao Paulo, Brazil. It could be L E N E. Lean, Lene, L E N E. Anyways, Sao Paulo. Lene, Lean, Lene, Lanu, Lene. It is like a tattoo dot. Yeah. Okay, here's what Mike said. Dear Katie, I just want to say thank you for all the hard work you and your teachers do for all their kids. I know you 
all have to pay a lot for your supplies yourselves. I had a few teachers that inspired and helped me throughout my school years. So I just wanted to pay it forward. I think that's, that's so sweet. Thank you, Mike. That is so cute. And you know what? Some of the comments and like things that we've read that you guys have written in that, oops, I think it was in the last unboxing video. You guys talked about things that your teachers did that changed you. And some yep. of you guys sent emails that had these sweet stories. And all have a story. it was so touching. And it is such an important job and they don't get paid enough and they don't get thanked enough. And I mean, for the, in, the impact they can have on kids' lives oh. for the rest of their lives, they're making better people for our future, they should. There should be more for them. You know, it and just seems like something that. It's got to be a calling to do it. Yes. You know, like, for like, really not much. Yeah. So, I love it. I think it's amazing and wonderful. And you teachers rock. Yeah. Because you can make an impact on kids. And when you just read those, people cases, as adults, still all of us, you know, remember a teacher or two or three or many or just one that just changed your life in a little way and I think it's amazing. In many cases, there there's kids that they'll see their teachers more than their family. Like yeah. they're just, you know, there's nobody home or pe the parents are working so much that, you know, they just can't, they gotta yeah. feed them. And so teachers do have a bigger impact because they're gonna be around them. Hopefully they're around them, Aww. they stay in school. Claire's an ex-teacher. That's Claire. sweet, Claire. Thank you, from the UK, an ex-teacher. From the Love. UK. Steph's um, mom was a teacher. And my grandma. Steph's, uh, we went and played poker with our friends that we did the pizza trick on, if you guys are familiar with that. She's a teacher. Tasha's a teacher, yeah. And, Kate is um, a teacher. She's actually now doing, well, yeah, she's she, going into the counseling. She, she got her into, degree for counseling. So she's switching over to counseling. But that's even, that's a big important everything, thing too. All of that is. Yeah. The educational system. Yep. But I it's sure exciting. make it hard on those people. Okay. Okay, this this box here, there's there's four of these. Four Anna, of these from Anna and Tunis. She sent these huge heavy boxes. I couldn't even believe it when I picked one up. It was so heavy. They are very heavy. And it says discount school supply. So let's see what Can anybody this guess is. what this is going What would be massive and heavy? You know what, that that Starbucks I drink is starting to... Kick in, are you getting sweaty? Ooh, Whoa. What? Oh, the water is heavy. Look at that. Whoa. It's paint. Simply washable tempera paint. Tempera paint. Temporary paint. Tempera paint. Oh, So okay. this goes with those massive paint brushes. Yes. And the... Um, For the art teacher. Yes. And the little paint brushes. This is going to the art teacher. There's four of these boxes. At Katie's school. Four of them. Wow. And that's gonna be a mind blower. She's gonna be, that teacher is gonna be like, what in the world? Katie's not gonna know what to do. And I'm gonna, when I take these to her, I'm gonna have to bring a dolly. They're heavy. They're very heavy. <laughs> they are so heavy. Then but, there's man, four how boxes cool is that? with big heavy paint in them. I think, I don't know what's in all of They're them. All, we could check one more to make sure, but the weight, the weight is consistent. Let's check them, I wanna see what colors. They're consistently heavy. Okay, I'm Here, opening this one. Slide it over, but don't hit the camera. Slide. Oh my gosh, this one has three, four in it. Oh, that one's got four, that might be different. Pink. Wow, pink. That is pink. Red. That is Whoa. orange. This oh is orange, gosh, Steph. It's so heavy. Oh, look, red. It says orange, so. Was the other one pink or was it red then? The other one's is magenta. Oh, magenta. Don't ever okay, tell the magenta black. it's pink. No, no, that's offensive. Oh. This one's heavy. That, that's blue. blue. Whoa. Wow. There's enough here to like spread along to other schools. Here, let's put it back in that box and then slide okay. the other one. All right. I, um, I almost forgot we were on a live. Here. <laughs> I'm standing <laughs> up. Hold on. Let me go like this. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Got, go. got a little involved here. And then I realized we're doing a video. Wow. Anna. Okay. These uh, are neat. Here's the red. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> it's so heavy. I'm so sorry. Did that hurt? Dad, did you see what she did? Yeah, I'm so clumsy. And, and look at the smile. That's the thing. <laughs> That's, that's the that part that's unnerving is when you when you do things accidentally to hurt me and you're smiling like that. Like I turn around 
and I'm love seeing this big smile. What do you want me to do? It already happened. I, I can't guess, take it back. I guess you're going to smile. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what you're going to do. I'm just happy it didn't hurt you. I guess you're going to smile. Here's the red. Accident, Steve. Come on. Yeah. That's what it says. Oh, we've had a lot of them accidents. Yeah. Oh, green. Wow. Holy the whole, moly. The whole color palette. Honey, we can... Wow, apple avocado. Green. Apple green. Oh, apple green. You got to get that, that one open. Well, is that one empty? Yeah. Okay, Okay, here. I'll put them back in. You get you that other one. Hey, no do you, wonder do you guys know that, 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 uh, wow. oh, what was I going to say? I don't know, but these are so heavy. I have a science thing to share. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get another one. Okay. Okay, hang on, guys. I realize you're there now. I'm oh. not ignoring anybody. Oh, my gosh. Ah. It's about to throw my back ah. out. It's so heavy. Ah. This weighs approximately 43 pounds. Yeah? You want to measure it? No. I do. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just saying that just to say it, but it's this heavy. This was heavy. Okay, what wow. color? Everybody guess what color is Okay, what is are in we there? missing? White? Have we had white? Hold on. That's not a color. Oh. Okay, there's going to be four of them. I saw black. Not in there. Why are you telling me? No, I'm trying to think of the colors. Okay. We saw black already. Ooh, um, what color is that? Ooh, pretty blue. That's turquoise. That's my favorite. That's cute. You like that? Do you uh, like that better than um, it's pretty. egg? What's that egg color? Eggshell is a blue, blue color. That blue one? Yeah, eggshell. He's really into that right now for some reason. Boom! Purple! Purple pickles! Purple pickles. This is purple pickles. I love this purple too. That's pretty. Ooh. This one is going to probably be mustard. Rose Grenin. Grenin, thank you. Two Rose, pounds. Thanks, Rose. That's sweet. Okay, That's, what is it? I thought it was mustard, but it's yellow. Did I say bird egg blue? There's one that's, remember it's blue. That yeah, one robin blue. egg blue. Robin egg blue. Did I say bird egg? I think you said bird egg. <laughs> okay. Those are nice colors. Oh, did I really? That is crazy. Did she say, I don't she know. said bird egg. If right? I said bird egg blue, <laughs> that's what I meant. Uh, from Alabama, what does it say? Lisa Henry from cool. Alabama for the coffee for y'all. Oh, oh, thank you. That's sweet. Here, Alabama. cheers. Oh, wait. Robin egg blue or Tiffany blue, Here, yes. Cheers. Oh. That's good. Thank you. That's so sweet. Anna, I can't wait to see Katie's face when she sees this. She does not know this is coming. And we're going to be planning a game that night with them fairly gonna, soon. That paint's going to blow their mind. If you guys haven't played the game, what do you mean? That well in. What do you mean? M-E-M-E? -E -E? Oh. We had so much fun playing that when we went to Texas. Amanda brought it. And, um... Are you guys... Are you guys familiar with that? What do you it's mean? It's hilarious. But. What's up, Callie Rice? It's not. We're doing great. Thank you for kid asking. Kid friendly. It, or don't play it with your in-laws or something like that. Like, it's got some, some bad oh, ones yeah. in there. It's not yeah. as bad as Cards Against Humanity, but there's some bad stuff in there. But it's hilarious if you've got the right group of people. It is funny. So we're going to play that game night with pretty soon. And we'll still be seeing Katie soon. Hi, so, B. Carter. We'll bring it all. And I'll try to record Sarah, it. Judy. I'm just <sighs> saying hi to people. This is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna open this. Emma, Jackie Hicks, Christina J. I can't wait to see her face Marge when she West, sees this. I know. It's gonna blow her mind. Diane. I wish I could see the teacher, the art teacher. Kathy Caps. I know. That'd be cool. Um. Okay. Look, honey, oh, this is science. Hi, everybody. Look. What? It says science right here. It I don't want to show her science. address. But look, science, and she's pointing over here at this. I Cleveland, think. Ohio, Margaret. Okay, let's open this. It's probably for you to open if it says science. Robin Kane. Okay. Morton's Gap, Kentucky. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you very much. Um. You know what? We celebrate Valentine's Day any day we want. Lady Freebird, EYL. Thanks for popping in. Oh, okay. Laura She's Diaz. She's giving a pointer about when you're making a box. Yeah. I think that's what she means. When you fold to close the boxes, you keep like. Dinah, uh, Dinah from Sweden. I hope I say there. your name right. Okay, when you fold to close boxes, you keep starting with the short end of the box. Uh, then you pull it up and rip it too close to the boxes. Science, start by folding in the long side first. Then there's give, and you don't have to rip the tab to close it. That's long right. Long first. Science. So frustrated watching you tear boxes. <laughs> <laughs> dropping drop science on us, oh, so we gotta do it. dropping science. What's up, Loretta? Look at this little, this looks 70s, huh? Look at them, with the hair. It does. The coloring. And then the alligator shoots up out of there. Oh, yeah. Them. Horror movie. There's a swamp monster coming to get him for sure. 
Hey, there was some, some people have commented, you can't unsee the Tesla truck. Michelle, wow. you do not want to unsee it. That's an awesome truck. Over time, that look is gonna become, what? like people are gonna say it's beautiful, the Tesla truck. We're getting a Tesla Oreo truck. Oreo a la mode fund. No, <laughs> Denise. Well, thank you very much, but that thing almost killed us, by the way. Yeah. Hey, the some people on the, I'm sorry. No, I, this, I wanted you to hear it, because it's interesting how it says. It says, it's in this card. Okay, it let's says, listen to the science. This is the card. Julie and For Cleveland. this picture, it says, how you shatter my thoughts into beautiful new patterns. That's all it says. How I you shatter that. my thoughts into beautiful pattern, beautiful I new patterns. That. Purple pickles that is, is right. That's so strange. I love that it. That was something. I know that when you hear that. How you shatter you my it. thoughts into beautiful patterns. Yeah, beautiful like, new patterns. Like let's say your thoughts are. Here's my thoughts. Oh boy. Not right now. I'm gonna make it up. Thoughts by Steve. No. Okay. Like say I'm. Let's say I woke up this morning, and. Um, I'm going, I go to the bathroom and I... I he gets all quiet when he says that. Because <laughs> my thoughts this are dictating how I talk. Okay. If my thoughts are not that good, then I'm going to talk like this. Oh, okay. Because so, if it's a little embarrassing, it gets quiet. Yes. Okay. So anyways, and then it's just, you know, I stub my toe and then I'm... That like, was loud. Well, I'm, I'm, now I'm trying to make sure you hear it. So okay. I stub my toe and I go, oh man. Then I go, well, I'll get a cup of coffee. That'll make me feel better. Mm. And I go get a cup of coffee and it's super hot and it burns my lip and my tongue and I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. and I'm real upset, right? Yeah. And then I'm just like, this whole day is already shot, okay? And I've only been up for like five minutes. Oh, wow. This day is shot. And then you come out and you go, hi, honey. And I'm like, oh. My, sh my thoughts were all bad and negative and then you shattered them. And then now. That's so cute. Now my thoughts are like, Life is pretty freaking good. Oh, that was really romantic. It happens. I'm telling like actual occurrence that happened to wow. me more than once. <laughs> that was really sweet. But that's how I take that, right? Like you could be, your thoughts can be bad because all happiness is, is thinking good thoughts the majority of the time, right? So if you have bad thoughts and then somebody comes along and does something or says something that changes you, in that instant, yeah. they could change your thoughts. They shatter those ones that are bad, and then you replace it with good ones. Like, hey, that's a nice person. Or they shatter your good ones. <laughs> hmm. They shatter the good ones, and bad ones come in. I was thinking of it like a beautiful vase, like that pretty vase we found with the broken top. Okay. Or that something a good thought. like a broken ceramic piece, and it was beautiful. And then you shatter it all up and make a mosaic and you shatter it and you make it into a beautiful new pattern. That's lovely too. That's beautiful. It's just, well, I, I love, love that. things that make me think. I really like that little Diane weird, Nutter. Strange... Is it Nutter or Nutter? Thank you very much. Essie K. Nutter. Are you? New... I think I just saw her. She's in Holland. Thank you, or... Leslie. Where are you? From Minnesota. Thanks for the science. You've shattered our thoughts into beautiful new ones. Ooh. What? Uh, the white was the first. How do you oh, say Oh, the first name? box. Taller, we opened it. Tally Rios? Ta Man, Taloris. I, I, I hate messing up names. She said it was in the first box we opened it had white. Okay, good. All right. I, maybe that's why it stuck out in my head because I saw it already. I was trying to think of what colors there could be missing. There were so many. We missed a super chat from you, Rose. I'm so sorry. I can't, um, we can't find it. It doesn't go back far enough to know. Oh, does it show up there somehow? Sorry, Rose. I don't know how to get to it. We can't. We just, we suck. We suck. I'm so sorry. I, we were probably deep in thought, talking. Wow. Okay, Michelle Lathan says, the Japanese have a ceramic technique that use gold in the cracks or repaired pieces. Ooh. Oh, oh to make, if there's a Michelle crack in Lathan it. Michelle Lathan is so well-rounded. She knows it all. Knows it all. A crack in it, putting gold sorry, in there Rose. would be beautiful. That would, that's a great idea. Yeah. I want to look that up. I want to, hey, if I crack a tooth, have them put some little bit of gold in it. Just a little, cr Crack you know. a toa, east of Java. Crack. Sweden. <laughs> crack a toa? Okay, so, Di am I saying the name right? D-I-A-H-N-E. She's in Diane. Sweden. That's how they say it there, Neuter. probably. Sweden. Neut hey. Neuter. Okay, so when we ate the fries, yeah. people were, you know, commenting, Newfoundland in the house, people were commenting about. Newfoundland. The way they like their fries. And there's some unique, Things they do in different countries, like even Canada, they they do something. They put a gravy on it. Yeah, they Somebody, do cheese curds with gravy. They call it, what's the 
poutine or poutine? poutine. Okay, so they do that. And then in um, Holland, there was some, you know, they were telling how they do it. So if you want to put comment, you can do it on this or that other video of, of weird, what we would consider weird. I'm not saying yeah, weird. Yeah, like we have chili eat, cheese fries. Maybe that's not everywhere, but those are delicious. But tell us some of the ways you eat fries or common foods that you just eat it differently, and then we'll try that. Yeah. Because some of it sounded good. Some of it didn't. I don't know if I could ever eat a French fry again. Yeah. So it might have to be a while before I could eat another French fry. <laughs> Purple I Pickles, am done. Purple Pickle says Michelle Lathan is a human version of Google. She is. You got that right. She's the Google. That's my game partner. Oh, she remembers everything, and that's why she's the best game partner to have because Hi, she's Pat quick. from Nebraska. Lightning fingers. She remembers facts. Yep. And everything. And she's so helpful and sweet as a moderator. Thank you. We love you, Michelle. You are so sweet. Pat from Nebraska. Okay. Denise from Southeast Georgia. Elgin, New Brunswick. Hi, this is Kathy. JV Steves. Is that right? Yeah. JV Steves? That's right. New Brunswick. Oh, okay. New Brunswick? Yeah. Where is New Brunswick? Steves. Um, Airmail Par Avion. This Chocolate came from... gravy and biscuits, Ruth Ann. Chocolate gravy? What is that? Chocolate gravy and biscuits, Ruth Ann. Chocolate gravy? Oh, you know what somebody said that sounds real good? They said, take your, like, say you don't eat all your fruit. Is that fries. chocolate syrup? Chocolate gravy? We're not familiar with the term chocolate gravy. <laughs> I think of sausage, sausage gravy. Sweet potato or pepper fries. gravy. Yes, it's live bike contest. You are here. It is real. She came back. Okay, okay, so somebody said you take your, say you don't finish your fries, you, the next day, I put them in the refrigerator, next day, mix them with your eggs. Mm. You know that's going to give oh, it more yeah. flavor because of the. You know, eggs would be good because hash salt browns and, the and grease. stuff. Potatoes go with eggs and bacon and stuff. Got that right. Mm -hmm. Some that people like good. to dip them in their milk. Say, so yeah. We did that. You guys didn't see any of that uh, either. Russ said yuck. At every single place we went to when we got the fry in the milkshake, we dunked. Texas and we Trinity. did test those too, but they didn't make it in the cut because the video was so, it was going to be one video. It was, it was like so an hour long. and a half. But we're, it was longer than that, but that's how much the. We food. went to 14 stores, right? 13? 13. 13. 13 different she restaurants. She tried to get me to go to one more. It was like, this is it. Yeah, and a lot of people did comment about mm, Five Guys and, and Dairy Queen and why didn't we go there? And we were going to, but we already went to 13, so we had to limit it because there were so many places we could have yeah. gone. We just decided ones that had drive throughs only. And our Dairy Queen doesn't have a drive through and neither does our Five Guys. But What's up, Diving does with Dairy D? Queen have fries? We don't know a whole lot. Like, we don't our Dairy Queen's things. a walk-in one. I don't even know if they have cooked food. It might just be ice cream. Yeah, but and our, and our Five on, Guys isn't drive through either. No. When five, we go on road trips, we have had Dairy Queen, though, and I think they do have fries. Five Guys seems to be like, uh, like the between a fast food and a legit well, restaurant. Well, it's not drive through It's... But it's you know what I mean, though, like that, it just seems like it's a little bit more, re like, real restaurant-y. They have good shakes. I've never had a vanilla shake from there, but I like their peanut butter chocolate shakes. one. That's good. It's got chunks of peanut butter. Sierra in Buller. Yeah. Crazy speed. You saw us dip him? Oh, I fries. think we did dip. You yeah, we, one dip we had in. some that we, we did it, we tried doing it every once. We she did was grossed out of it at first, and then uh, I, I guess like she didn't it. like it at all. But I really like it. I like dipping. Some of the fries were so... Not good that it was better dipped. So, okay. Um, here, I've got to read it. I digress. Okay. Mr. French fry. New Brunswick is a Canadian province, East Coast. Thank you. <laughs> Steve, don't let Steph get near you again with that wax. <laughs> well, Jenny sent some some sugar wax. Apparently, that's painless. I'm not, I can't imagine anything being painless when you're yanking yeah. hair out. That's just my feelings on it. Diving with purpose. She said, your money looks cool, as I only have seen your money back in the 60s and the 80s, to the 80s. No color on them then. Yeah, we do have some color on them now, don't we? Some of them, like our tins, are kind of yellow. They're doing, they've changed them subtly because yeah. we've been making counterfeit and we've had to reboot all our equipment and stuff. I know, and you guys all have cool uh, colored yeah. money and we don't. Wildflower says, what is chocolate <clears throat> gravy? That's what we asked. Like, what um, is chocolate gravy? We went... Today, when we took, uh, we went to swim class with Dean, and then we went into our little town, like a rural town, and there's a candy store there, and they had all these retro candies that I guess they're bringing them back, or they just have them. How do you think, how do they do that? They had like 60s candies, 70s, 80s. Do you think they're using the same recipes? Um, yeah, I do. 
They had so many things, like I saw candies there that I've, I haven't seen since I was a child. I know. There were some that I remember loving so much as a kid. And, oh, your bills are plastic now. That would be cool. Many people have said that, that, that they have plastic bills. They don't tear. You know, they're, I don't you know. You throw them in the washing machine. Yep. Great over biscuits. Mm. But aren't they thicker? Thicker in your wallet if you have to have plastic layer? It's so weird. Like, the only, I never, ever have cash on me unless it's at a flea market or a yard sale. And let me tell ever. you why. It's because... I'm there every time he leaves the house, unless he just runs to Starbucks real quick. Um, I'm there, and I have a purse filled with all the things that we need in there. So there's no need. I was just going to see that just blew my whole theory. I honestly was thinking for years <laughs> that, that <laughs> Steph and I, like, we just go places and leave with stuff. It's magical. I'm like, I'm like, well, you just go in the closet and life. all the clothes are in there and they're clean. I know. You just get in the bed and today, the sheets are clean. Like these pants? Mm -hmm. Honestly, like today I got up and I was like, I didn't want to wear anything, but I figured we're going out. I got to put something on. Right. And I saw these jeans and I was like, where did these, in my mind I'm going, where did these come from? And I almost asked her. You did almost ask me where these pants came from? Yes. And as I, I actually took the pants off of a hanger. Uh -huh. And I was like, these are freaking brand new. And then I walked towards you uh -huh. and I stopped myself. Because <laughs> he's like, and I said, they're going to hear about this on YouTube <laughs> if I happen to ask her this question. Yeah. I think that I know where these pants came from. I think, <laughs> I, I've never purchased a pair of clothes the entire time we've been married. I haven't. Yeah. So somewhere these clothes came from. I don't know where from. And I'm going to go ask Steph. It is bizarre. If it was her. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go in there and just say, where did these come from? But I, the walk was long enough mm -hmm. that I had time to, to, you know, if I was in the closet yeah. and you walked in, I would say, where did these come from? Wow. What? Unbelievable. <laughs> That's I'm, hilarious. I'm a mess. I know. So this but whole time, you, you just that. were wondering, you couldn't believe that we haven't spent a dime I'm, I'm amazed. In the whole time we've been I'm married. I, had to, I haven't had any money on me other than flea markets and, and uh, yard sales. Yeah. Seriously, I don't ever have, and I just get stuff. I know. I just. Things appear. I know. We did all those drive throughs <laughs> and. Oh, one of those, I didn't show it. One of those drive through I got so confused. Like, I didn't show that because it, you guys would think there's really something wrong with me. But I truly. I don't ever go to those. I didn't know what to expect. And then that one person was like, we had an issue with, I just handed a pile of money to him. Oh. Because I haven't carried, I don't deal with, I deal with only at the flea market. It was like side. $5 or something. And he gave her 12. 13. $13. <laughs> and she stood there with three ones and a 10. Is like, well, how, what am I supposed to do with this? Because it, it was like four ninety eight or something. And she's like, well, what am I, what are you wanting with this 10? And the three dollars for some reason. But here's, it sounds bad when you hear it like that, but here's, here's the reason it was like that. We were in the line and there was a couple lines that were super long. I mean, literally suit long. That video took us a whole day to oh, do. It was, it was so brutal. long. Popeyes was 20 minutes. We pulled up, there's one person in front of us and it took 20 minutes yeah. to get through. But McDonald's was really long too. That one, that one incident, we had already ate, had a few. And then when I got up to the window, I panicked. Because Steph, Steph had like, as we were going, you were always, she had like money and she'd, you know, give the money. Like she had it all figured out. Boom, boom, boom. And then we got up to that one and we were in a conversation and then the lady asked for money and you weren't listening. And I was like, so I just grabbed a pile of money and I handed her the money. Oh my gosh. And it was $13. So that's what happened. I yeah. didn't know how that occurred. But it even got worse because I, I freaked her out. I was already messed up. And then she. She said, you gave me too much. She goes, you gave me too much. But she asked for more. No. Yes. She goes, I go, okay, how much is it? <laughs> We're both like that. And then I say, well, give me, give me the three. And she said, give me a five or something. And I go, well, you got 13. You got 13. <laughs> I don't think you it don't... went like that. I think it got more it confusing. Very... Anyways, I'm rambling. Yeah. Let's open up another. Okay. Or finish an envelope. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. I think this was card was from, I think it says Judith. Violetta. Mm. That's adorable. Steve's. And my kitty, four cats, Bill, Jill, Binky, Smokey, and Ringo. Steph Cute. had a cat named Bill. <clears throat> I did. 
Um, what did, did you, you think of the stamps? These stamps are so cool. I don't want to show anybody's Are they? These are, they are their stamps. Postage stamps. I didn't know that. Where is this from? New Brunswick. Yeah. Wow. What is that? Let's, that's cherry well, pie. We show. Wait, don't show the address. I don't okay, want the address the, to be shown. That's a cherry pie. Yeah. Ooh, is that an ice a cream skillet. sandwich? Oh, that looks good. That looks good. That skillet's got something going on in there. Let me see what that is. Oh, it's blueberries with some sort of cobbler in there. Ooh, and this is like a Dutch baby. Mm-hmm. Okay, this of one. Of these, this would be my favorite, I think. It looks like a peanut butter. That looks amazing. Here, see Thank if you. you. Could, see if you can read this name. I love it. That is so cool. Oh, boy. Wait till you see this one. Rocket Sembrano. Sembrano. Rocket Sembrano. Las Cruces, New Mexico. Your handwriting is beautiful, by the way. Rocket. Wait. What? I think I think I got a picture of Rocket. I don't know what I'm looking. Why are you mm -hmm. hiding that? Because I'm gonna blow your mind here in a second. Well, don't show their Kay. address. Rocket San Bra <clears throat> Brano. Birthday is January 21st, 2019. Likes long walks at the park, hunting Sasquatch and squirrels. Oh. Job service dog to retired USAF vet. Oh, United States Air Force. Rocket. Name Keldos Sembrano. Keldos Sembrano. Bam! Rocket. Rocket. Rocket is service a service dog. dog? Yes. A He's Frenchie. A Frenchie. What kind of a Sembrano. job does he do with his service dog? There's a lot. Like dogs make you feel good. Yeah. Look at his teeth. He's adorable. Oh my gosh. He's got an underbite with these cute teeth. He is. He is cute. He's so cute. Oh, Rocket. That is so sweet, Rocket Sembrano. You got a good job, and you're adorable. Yeah. That is so cute. I think said, dogs okay and humans share. give each other therapy. Well, That's a cute, your handwriting is beautiful, Rocket. Cute dog, Rocket. Rocket's mom. And he hunts Sasquatch. Or dad. Yeah. He's a Sasquatch hunter as Rocket. well. Rocket. I know. Hunts Sasquatch and squirrels. Yes. <laughs> so cute. Sasquatch and squirrels. Okay. Uh, this is from, this is the last one. Lucy Rodriguez, El Paso, Texas. Hey, Lucy. I'm home. Wait, what does he say? Lucy. You got some splaining to do. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, let me see. El Paso. Yep. El Paso, Texas. I want to make Hi, sure Junior this is okay Lopez. to read. Hi, Marge West, while Steph is reading that. Mama J. Mm. Mary, Mary Deathy, how are you doing? Monica Beecraft, Mary, did you try the uh, Oreo? Or was it you were asking about the, uh, the fries at Taco Bell? Mm. Wow. Steve, what's your favorite food that Steph cooks? <laughs> for what? No, for a dessert, it would be like, I'll make her feel bad if I say things. She, oh, I didn't know you want that. Oh, no. My favorite dessert. I was going to say that cobbler thing. Did he say dessert? Make. No, food. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover a couple grounds. I was going to say that cobbler His thing. His favorite thing that I make, hands down, is Rice Krispie Treats. Yes. He loves them. I, I was gonna throw that out there. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna say the cobbler thing, but the Rice Krispie treats, her Rice Krispie treats. You can't treats, really mess them up. Yes, you can. And I can mess things up. You can mess up Rice Krispie treats. I like it to where when you pull them apart, it's like a rubber band, and it's that's I'm still stretching that thing. A rubber band. Well, it, that would it's go gooey. Whoosh, smack them back together. You know what I'm saying? He likes them to be yeah, and nice gooey. and warm, fresh from. And you and they stay like that. For a couple days. Sometimes if they don't. don't. Sometimes eat them they in one cut day. your gums. They are sharp. Not yours. Yours mm, are perfect. That's because you can almost eat a whole pan of them. I in can one sitting. easily. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, he loves and, them. And the uh, taco soup is pretty stellar. Yeah, that's I love pretty the taco good. Taco soup. There aren't a lot of I like, things. I like that everything that she makes. He's a simple guy. His favorite I thing that I make, guy. by far, is just eggs and bacon. <laughs> oh yes, that's my favorite. <laughs> eggs and bacon. Eggs I, and I don't bacon. have a. I'm not, I'm not like a... Whenever I cook anything great or exciting or fun or whatever, he's not a fan because he hates spices. Yeah, I like he easy. doesn't like things to be hot and I always make them too hot. Yeah. And then I burn his lips off. What's up, Brenda Aka? I don't know. It's hard. The simple things are the things he likes the most. Like I joined that HelloFresh thing. I like everything you, know, you make. The HelloFresh food delivery where they send you things because I'm not the great cook. Um, and I, could, I learned a ton. But when it first came out, they had a deal. And it was like, I think it was $20... Um, or maybe it was, it was even less than that for a, it was you know, super three cheap. meals for two of us shipped and they didn't have the fine print for where it said first time customers only. So my sister-in-law and I 
bought a ton of them. I think I got six <laughs> months worth of food for us, of, of times yeah. to come. He got so sick of all of those. The food was delicious. He got so sick of it. He hates spices now. Now he hates rosemary. He hates... It was just um, it, oregano. He very, hates all the spices now because of that. Because yeah. everything came with spices, and you just it was them. good at first. I was like, these meals are amazing, and then it was constant spices, like constant spices, not hot spices, just a constant barrage. Yeah. And I just, I just, I don't know why it doesn't work for no, me. No, if he wants chicken, he wants it to be boring chicken with I just love, maybe some pepper on it. I don't. I'm missing something genetically where I like. There's foods that I enjoy, but I can eat. I can literally eat chicken for dinner every single day. Salmon. And I could eat salmon every single day. Doesn't want any sauce on it. He doesn't want anything. And I can eat eggs and bacon all the time. And steak. He loves steak. Yeah. Okay, anyway, but thanks anyways. for, you guys, you guys know everything. But see, everything she makes is good. I just. Oh, I've ruined some a, stuff. Yeah. I have ruined some stuff. You guys, I like to experiment and make stuff and I blow it all the time. Like that grape rice that I made. <laughs> I made rice, I make rice in the Instant Pot all the time. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, my goodness. Coconut rice. That was funny. But I asked you for permission on that one. We had grape juice. There's a little <laughs> bit of grape juice in the fridge. And, um, that was funny. I said, should I throw this in there? Because I thought, hey, you know, wine makes things A little bit of grape juice and some Where you put pineapple, rice? pineapple juice and things. It makes it sweeter. So he's like, yeah, let's see what happens. I put it in there. It tasted like grape yeah. children's rice. Yes, it, it was, was unbelievable. Disgusting. And the color was not It was light not purple. Appealing. It looked like poi. It was gross. Ugh. But hilarious, and we we did eat it. <laughs> What's so, up, yeah. Daniel I'm, Bosco? I've blown it. Lancaster, South Carolina. Okay. Yeah, um, else, else eats all right, I'm gonna read all dish. of this, Judy or Lucy. I'm gonna read all of this, Lucy. Lucy's 73, and uh, she's got 10 grandkids. So ten I'm gonna read all the kids. rest of this stuff. But thank you so much for this, Priscilla. Sweet it, letter. it was not one of her better experiments. Oh my gosh, I've there was some something really else bad did, ones. Like, Okay, here's one thing that Steph does oh. when she's cooking. Like, she'll go, like, we'll get ready to eat something, and she'll say, especially if it's the first time she made it, yeah, I go, wow, that's pretty incredible, because it would be an elaborate thing. And she goes, yeah, I was supposed to put oil in there, but I put whatever. Like, there was something, something very important that she will just go, well, I didn't have that. <laughs> I just want to see what would happen. So, I, I put this. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, it sounds like you're supposed to have oh, that. Oh, <laughs> I made these espresso cupcakes. Yes. And they were going to be delicious because I made them before. They're really good. And um, I didn't have regular oil. I think it was regular oil. So I'm like, I'll just put olive oil in it. <laughs> and so I made, I put olive oil instead, which is oh. fine. Except the olive oil smell and taste. Oh, it, it was, was so gross. The olive oil cupcakes yeah. is what I call them. And they are sickening. They ruined it. <laughs> uh, but I've made all kinds of things. I've experimented with avocado cookies and all kinds of crazy stuff. And um, it a lot funny of them don't, when I experiment and wing it, they don't turn out What that was great. that thing where the whole, like, the people we played games with, remember Bob was saying, you, you, like, the, the oh, substitutions yeah. that she makes are pretty Oh, funny. they're not good. It's bad. I'll just it's try bad. this. I'll just wing it and force Steve. That's why he probably hates everything. No, I but, like everything. I just don't like, I don't appreciate elaborate <laughs> he stuff. He likes the things I can't screw up. <laughs> <laughs> But oh my anyway, goodness. whatever. We're getting all crazy. Sorry if we missed the super chat there. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. We're rambling. I'm yeah. so sorry. Thank you so much. I wish we could um, see it. I know. I don't know how to make them pop up. It's just not good. But anyway, thanks you guys for hanging right. out with us. Yeah, you should hey, try remember, haggis, listen, turnip, and mash. Ooh, I've had turnip and mashed potatoes. Those are good. Ten, I've made those. Ten, he doesn't like them at all. Seven kids and 11 grandkids. You don't like turnip. When I'm, I get, I'm really into... Um, no. Hi, Kim Matthews. With the cauliflower Fat things, Rebecca, he Patricia. doesn't like any of it. Turnip things, he doesn't like Karen. it. Parsnips, I love to cook them, he hates them. Dumpster heroes. All kinds of things he hates. Kim. Hey. Ooh, french fries mixed with cooked corned beef. That would be good. Ooh, I think french fries are going to work with a lot of stuff. Yeah, of anything flavor. potato. It's like potatoes. Remember, we're doing that TV show. As soon as we can tell you about it, we're going to tell you everything. We yeah. can't tell you yet, but any rumors you hear, they're all wrong. <laughs> Yep, because we haven't spilled the beans to anybody. So we, if you guys are hearing you, rumors. Yeah, we're not doing anything about dumpster diving. No. Those are all rumors that, for whatever reason, they're being spread around. Yeah. And as soon as we can tell you guys, we're going to tell you. We want to tell you right now. And you guys we, are going to know the truth anyway. And in by a the way, months. by the way, Friday, we are doing more, like, they have us do... Um, pickups. Pickups. Like, they're going to come out. Are we allowed to even talk about that? 
It's late in this video. These people aren't going to tell on us. Okay, this is the rear so they, they come and, uh, like, we, you know, they, they'll bring a sound guy over here, and we just do, like, little interviews. It doesn't take long, but we're, we have to do that. Or, so they're, they're buttoning up the episodes. They're getting them all, you know, like they had to get first episode. They're doing all this stuff. So part of it is, hey, we, we need to... It's, we need to provide more information for an episode that maybe doesn't make sense, I guess. Or you said this, it's usually me, like you said this, Don't tell and we couldn't about understand this. what you said because I slur on my speech all the time. And so they're like, we just need you to say this one line and we have to film it. So it's funny. So they, there's little lines where they just need to say one word or something. Yeah. They're just putting it in or whatever, just because we said it weird or whatever. So that's, that's, what, that's what they're doing. <clears throat> and then, so we'll ask them on Friday, say, hey, like how many episodes have they got? ready and we still don't know the exact date it's going to be aired even like the producer all that stuff is still up in the air so but as soon as we do we want to be able to tell you guys the experience you know we want to share those things with you and tell you what this was like i think i can spill this bean uh oh wait you're gonna spill a bean one bean that it's a brand new show oh yeah it's brand new it's not yeah like so all of you guys that are thinking we're gonna be in storage wars or something like that no it's a brand new show it's yeah it's it's a so new show. that's why it's taken so long because they didn't know what they're doing yet. They're trying to figure out how to do all this together and stuff. So it's really interesting. They're kind of creating a show. So um, that's why it's taking longer than normal because they're not. They don't know how to do this yet. So yeah. it's been interesting. And we're learning. Like it's fascinating to us. You know, we we enjoy doing different things. We really yeah. do. We like. We just like doing different stuff. You know, keeping our. Keeping our synapses firing. Yeah, we did it and, for the fun. It wasn't yeah. like we did it to do anything. We just did it because of the experience. Because if somebody says, hey, you want to be in a TV show? Yeah, that would be kind of fun. Let's see what that's going to be like. Yeah. Let's just do it. So it was just for that. If you guys know so, anybody that says, hey, you want to you wanna go out and swim with a real friendly dolphin? Or a great white shark? Yeah. No. I'll go in a cage. I'll go in a cage. You will? Not a cage that has the... I will go in a cage, but not one that has the opening. Because I've seen videos where that shark... A gray white goes in that top. Yes, they but do. But I would go in a cage. And then there's one where a guy was trapped in there with the shark. Shark got stuck in there. In there. It was a cameraman. <clears throat> but anyways, you know, if you got opportunities to try different things in your life, even if it's something that doesn't sound appealing, and especially if somebody, a friend or a family member is wanting you to engage in this with them, give it a go. It's, Why not? It's, it really is. It's good for you to step out of your comfort zone, you know, and experiment Learn with things. Learn something new. We're and not, my we're dad not be calls here it, forever. Yeah. My dad calls it lengthening your day. Lengthening so your he day. tries to drive home. He said from, home from work, wherever his work would be, my dad builds houses. He said he would try to drive home a different way every single day just to lengthen his day. Because the same, if you drive the same route home every day, you don't remember coming home. You just get home all of a sudden and you realize, I don't even know what I did after yeah. work. He said, so if you change something in your day, every day, you'll remember it. So it lengthens your day and lengthens, lengthens your life. So. Wow, Marge West, 12 <clears throat> year old, did shark diving. Oh, a 12 year old? Yeah. What? Why'd you let him do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's because so cool. We're telling him to get new experiences. That's yep. crazy. Oh, thank you, Lisa Henry. Oh, it's sweet. Thank you very a little much. Little bouncy guy. Missed it, but hi. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Brenda. How are you doing? Hey. Hello from Emily. Hermiston, Oregon. Hey. Hi, Emily. And there are a couple of you guys who did win the calendar uh, yeah, winners. Get you in need touch to go with check Steph. that video and see. There's in the comments. That was you can for look her and wish see. Trip. A few of you didn't respond yet, so I need you guys to respond. So um, I'll have to look back and see who is there and see if I can get a hold of somebody. But maybe you guys were in another country and you Severine. passed. I don't know. Severine Oudhoff in Netherlands. Ooh. I'm sorry if I said that, that wrong, but I like the word, I like the word Netherlands. I do too. Russ, Mars West, you know, Cynthia we, Mary, yeah. Gina Farajan, Farajan. <laughs> uh, Harley's Do Heroes. Mom Dobo, Bobby Pazali, Jennifer Pazali? Grace, Heroes. Kim Kelly, Purple Pickles, Loretta, Loretta Baldwin. Baldwin, Simply Clean Solutions. Yes. They're in Georgia. Say hi to everybody. Deb hey, Gamble. Sydney. Dottie, She's in Sydney. Dottie to Sydney, Australia. Australia. Did, no, Linda you Khan. didn't win. Your name, I don't remember that one. Bum Elsa. Crack. Bum Crack Picker. Pat Welling. BCP. Mary Ellen. BCP, okay. Mary Paul's I haven't seen Bianca Lolo, in a while. Tammy. Have you seen her in any no. comments? I haven't no. seen her. I hope everything's okay with Bianca. I should send her a message and see if she's there. Uh, Amy, I did not see your name Barbara, either. No. Barbara Ivy from England. Yep. 
So go back Michelle to our video Nathan. on the giveaway video and just check and see if Elsie, her name was in there. Candy, Sandra, yep. Tracy Michelle, Johnson. You've seen Bianca? Okay, oh, good, okay. Michelle. We haven't done Tell as many. Tell her we said hi. Yeah, we haven't Tracy done as many Miller. lives, and that's where we Linda Stark see. is in Hawaii, and she's in the chat. Hey, Linda. We open your stuff. Hey, Linda. Love it. Uh, aloha. Milika Miki Maka. Oh, and this. Linda. Love it. I can't wait. I'm having that tomorrow morning. So thank you, everybody, Free that sent us video. stuff. We got to go. What about and, Bigfoot? Um, Hasn't about been Bigfoot? on in a while. Is ah, Bigfoot okay? The urban Bigfoot? Remember when some of you know that Bigfoot and I had a run-in and it didn't go well for me. Yes. It was it was tragic. Yeah. <laughs> but we should So tragic. When we go back to well, I don't know if we can if we're gonna have time when we go to Texas, but maybe we'll try to do a little Bigfoot hunt with Jay. Yeah, it's and Greg. I'm I'm nervous. We're definitely when we go it. back. We're going in a couple months. Sharks have big teeth. Um to Texas to go watch the grandkids. Nova well, Scotia, home of Oak Island. But Tammy we're going Higgins. to the um Goatman Bridge with them. Yeah. So you guys will see another ghost hunt yeah. with us and Greg and Jay. So that'll be fun. Can't wait. But in the meantime, try something new and enjoy your life, enjoy guys. Enjoy your life. Bye.